Hey there everyone, Mary Pittman here from Fitness Alliance International. Welcome back to Gimme 10, where we help you transform your life 10 at a time. Now, as you can remember, we're working through our 10 areas of life, working 10 days at a time. We're not setting 90 day goals and having our interest wane and our passion fall. We are working 10 days at a time so that by the end of the 10 areas, we can just cycle back again and go 10 days at a time and stay fully focused and stay fully driven through the whole period. Now, we have worked halfway through our, uh, through our 10 areas so far. So we're up to number six. We worked through family where we basically looked at our family and our family dynamic and our family relationships and uh, took a look at how we could develop our relationships further and, and, and build more a different, uh, change the family dynamic. We also looked at spiritual and what kind of spiritual that means to you. It could mean church, it could mean um, tarot, it could mean crystals, um, it could mean in, like listening to intuition more. Now we also took a look at emotional and more importantly emotional mastery and uh, looking at the emotions we feel most often uh, in our lives. We took down the top five, six or seven and we looked at the ones that we wanted to feel more and worked it a way to replace the ones we don't want to feel with the ones we do. We also went into work and the things we do and don't look like about our jobs or, or what we do for work. Um, and again, replacing the things we don't like with things that we do, focusing more on the positive side of things, um, why we go to work. Uh, we looked at our social lives. So right here, and, um, and how we can develop them further. We live in a world of social media where it's actually disconnecting people a lot more. I've got a thousand plus friends on Facebook, but how often do I communicate with each and every single one of them? I might have 20 to 30 that I contact regularly, that I send a text message, that I send a Facebook message, that I give a phone call that I see frequently at work or in the social environment. But what about the other 900 plus? Um, so sending birthday messages, sending Christmas cards, because it's that time of year. Um, again, just sending a simple text message through Twitter, liking something, commenting on something on Facebook, um, that sort of thing. So building our social, not only interactions, but social environment, possibly even social networks. So finding new areas uh, to be social in and we're moving on as we can see down the list here to our financial area so we've got just a few more areas to go into there so again financial plays a large part in every single area of life every single area flows on to and from all the other areas so they're not uh, entities in and of themselves uh, there is connection like it links in a chain and like in a network or a spider's web you might say where they are connected directly and indirectly to all the other areas so looking at the financial what are you doing for work um, again like I said we're coming to that part of the year where people are looking at Christmas shopping um, how financial are you to do that are you going to be using your credit cards um, how how able are you to use your credit cards? How available are they? Are they maxed out already here at the beginning of November? Um, do you need to look more at possibly paying those off before you do your Christmas shopping? Um, what I do, um, I don't buy anything unless I have the money for it. So I'm always using either cash or my debit card. So that if there's not money in the bank, there's not money being spent. Um, I also have uh, say financial management system that I learned from T. Harvecker where you break your income, your net income, not your gross income, into percentages or into the buckets which uh, Anthony Robbins also uses. So uh, Anthony Robbins I think uses three buckets where you've got your, uh, your big lifelong dream, so saving up th towards something, uh, you've got your spending money and then you've got your saving money. So the spending money broken into your different areas of how much is going on bills, how much is going on fun stuff and all, all that sort of thing. So 
Uh, financials. How much have you got saved? How much have you put away for Christmas? A lot of banking institutions also have um, sub-account uh, arrangements where you can put a specific amount or percentage of your income into an account and it will not only accumulate but also gain interest through the year. You're unable to access that money during the year and then at Christmas time, say the, the 1st of December or whatever release date you select for your, for your money to be dropped into your access, um, it, basically you're making money, you're saving money for a specific time of year. You can have uh, a gifts account throughout the year and that's how much you have to spend on birthdays, on Christmas, on Easter and, and all that sort of thing. So let's take a look at our finances over the next 10 days and see what's happening, see what our credit cards are, see what our residual bills are. If you're looking for a residual income, there are ways that you can make your money work for you. Say investing, um, network marketing is a good way to, a good area to look into. So do your research into a new area. And again, basically don't put all your eggs in one basket. So. That's Gimme 10 for this 10 and I'm Mary Pittman from Fitness Alliance International and I'll see you next time.